It is incredibly exciting, Jalen. I mean, the energy in this place is something that's hard to describe. We're here at the home of the Madison Mallards, and now their co-partner, the Madison Nightmares. If you know the Mallards, it's college baseball players out here having fun, doing their thing. Now, for the first time ever, and after the 30 years in the Northwoods League, we have the same thing, but for softball. And we'll th we're thankful to be joined by the Nightmares general manager, Samantha Rubin. Sam, thank you for taking the time. And just how exciting is this incredible day that I'm sure you've been waiting for for a long time? Yeah, it's awesome that it's finally here. It's just a really cool opportunity to be a part of something that's brand new. Um, and, you know, just getting ready to go. We're just pumped to see it happen. They played their very first game yesterday on the road, and then now we have our very first home game. So we're excited to get going. And something I think is incredibly cool, this team has a ton of local players like Hillary Blomberg from Verona. But when we're talking about accommodating for these players, I mean, you can't just play softball on a baseball field. How, what are the things that it took to change this to a softball playable field and kind of what went into that? Yeah, I mean, we got turf on the infield to be able to transition the field from baseball to softball. Um, we have the portable mound, so the mound comes off for softball games and is on for baseball games. Um, we also have the ability to move the bases all around. We have a portable outfield fence as well, um, and then a portable backstop that's behind home. So the opportunity to be able to play not just softball, but youth as well is a really cool option here on the north side of Madison. Something that has really struck me so far is the amount of young girls that I've seen just inspired before today even either I, I saw you guys did something in the community last week with another softball team how cool is this for young women I mean I, what have, what's the reaction you've gotten? It seems amazing. Yeah, I mean, just seeing all of the little girls, like softball teams out here wearing our jerseys is really cool. Um, it's a cool opportunity to be able to see that and to inspire a sport that's really kind of on the up. You know, WNBA and basketball is having their moment right now, and I think softball's on its way. Um, and to be able to kind of start that trend right now is really cool. How many home games are you guys playing and how many games do you have as a whole? And I heard maybe the 4th of July might be on the calendar for the Nightmares. That's exciting. Yeah, so we have our very first 4th of July game here. The Mallards never play here on the 4th of July. We always do our celebration on the 3rd. Um, and so this will be our very first 4th of July event here at the ballpark. We're super excited to have that. We'll have fireworks after that as well. Um, but yeah, we have 21 home games and 21 road games. A um, couple double headers thrown in there. So a few three games where it's a softball game first, then a baseball game after. Um, and so we're excited to kind of see the combination of our fans come together my last question would be if somebody's been to a mallards game if they haven't been to a mallards game why should they come to a nightmares game it's different you know we still have all of the fun and the promotions and the beer and fireworks and bobbleheads and all the things that go along with minor league baseball and um, the mallards but softball is really fast paced like the actual play on the field is way quicker um, it's sh a little bit shorter so for families with a little bit of a younger younger kids at home it gives them the opportunity to stay through the whole game um and it's different you know we have a live horse as our mascot and she'll be really a part of a lot of stuff that's happening here tonight as well and i know sam is incredibly busy the game starts at about 10 minutes so i'm gonna let her go and we'll let you guys go too we'll have highlights tonight on news three now at 10 but for now for sam rubin i'm andrew banster at the duck pond live from the nightmares first ever